Hello, my name is Sanna Lehtinen and I work as a product manager here at Vaisala. Today I will show you how to do on-site calibration for SPP270 series probes. SPP271 and SPP272 probes, they contain peroscop sensor. Peroscop sensor is based on two humidity sensor that then are used to calculate vaporized hydrogen peroxide and, and humidity. And therefore you are able to do on-site calibration using any humidity calibrator like our SMK15 that we have today. What you need is SMK15, the probe SMP, SPP272 is what, what I have here today, and then the cable to connect the probe to the PC with inside PC software that you can download from Weisler.com. So let's start. Let's put the cable uh, to PC and open the Weisala Insight software. Now the software is detecting the device and I can see the measurements from the probe. The automatic purge starts place, takes place and we need to wait for that first. Okay, now we are final, uh, we are ready. Let's remove the cap and then let's put the, the probe into the dry end. This is lithium chloride that I have here, around 11%. You don't need to take out the filter. Now it's there. Uh, let's also start the calibration here. We select calibration here and we select the relative humidity for H22 calibration. So we are going to do our two point adjustment. And first the dry end point. I will clear the chart. And now we just need to wait for the stabilization. Okay, now we are final and we just input the referenced value into the inside PC software. It is 11.3%. So I put the reference value here into the software and I press enter. I will see measured value in, in the software. Okay, then let's take this away from here. And then let's take another higher end point for measurement. I have sodium chloride here around, around 75% and I put the probe here. Now I need to wait again 30 minutes to get the measurement stabilized. Okay, now we are ready. The measurement is stabilized and I will put, I will enter the reference value here. It is 75.4. And I press enter and then the inside PC software calculates the estimated H2 to uh, error at 500 ppm. Okay, we are ready. As you can see, it was very easy to do with this inside PC software.